Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Gaiden, and this is Super Thunderblade on Sega's lovely Mega Drive console. There's the Sega logo. Oh, look at how blue it is. It's like the bluest blue skies. Uh, this is a, an incredibly grainy title screen here made of all colours. We've got starting options here in a very a vibrant green. Looks like we can tweak the control. Uh, reverse always gets me. We can come up to seven lives. Lovely. That's a good effect. Yep, I like that one. Oh, and Sonic the Hedgehog makes an appearance. Um, this is a, a very early Mega Drive game. As you can see there, it says 1988. Now, I have recently bought this game from an auction site. It cost me £12. I've got no history with the arcade machine of Thunderblade. Never played it. Um, so I bought the Mega Drive game because I'd heard it was shit. So I thought, yeah, I'll give that a crack. And here we go. Um, the A button fires. You just hold down the A button. The C button does the same thing. The B button there stopped me moving. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Um, we've got what I suppose is supposed to be skyscrapers. Yeah, uh, they're wobbling around though, aren't they? They're like... Um, the, the amount of windows actually increase on them as they get closer to you. That's very strange. Uh, we've got some helicopters. We've got some trees. We've got some tanks. We've got a sound effect that sounds like... Well, in terms of explosions. Just a fart. Uh, take off. Okay. Um, the same sound effect over and over again. Oh my word. They are relentless with their bullets. They take no prisoners. I think using the B button to slow down uh, means I can't hardly move the blue thunder copter here and makes me an easy target for the enemies to shoot. So I don't know what the point of the blue button is. Uh, the B button is. Uh, yep, shot there. He got me. I'll take that. I don't know what the point of them slowing down is. It just seems to be a recipe for disaster. Here we have an end of level boss looking dude. A giant tank. Look at those clouds moving in parallax. Isn't that beautiful? And then the gradient on the sky there is perfect. I can't see where the blue blends to the white. And we've got some lovely buildings in the background. Um, am I just going to have to go around in a circle here? Mm. Um, okay, like I said, this is my first play of Thunderblade. I don't know what the arcade machine's like. I don't know uh, it's got these really horrible sound effects. Uh, but the Mega Drive can do better sound than this. We've got some piano in the soundtrack because it's relaxing jazz time when you're in a helicopter mowing mofos down by the dozen. Actually the music reminds me a little bit of Shadow Dance from the Mega Drive. It's got a bit of that funky bass. Oh lovely. Oh we're shooting jet fighters. Oh this helicopter is all well tooled up. Uh, these buildings are wobbling into existence again. Um, yeah. Okay, well it's an into the screen shooter. It's weird that the first couple of games on the Mega Drive, like this and Space Harrier, were into the screen shooters when the Mega Drive just didn't have any hardware uh, scaling support. Sega at the time were known for their super scaler games, um, so I can see why they would convert it, but um, the Mega Drive these first couple of games anyway, the update is so wobbly, it's just weird. Anyway, what's happening now? Oh, going into the top view. Shooting the road. Yeah, die you stupid road. Oh, got a carpet here. The road turns into a carpet. I can't move the helicopter up the screen. I can move left and right. Incredibly jerkily. Okay, got some colour cycling here. 
my eyes are actually uh, being turned inside out by the amount of colour cycling. Oh, I'm shooting this is like an aircraft carrier. Okay. If I press B, uh, it goes up the screen. So it's almost like I'm slowing down the boat's on its way somewhere. Uh, let's shoot all these. Yeah, shoot the, the control tower. Kill the people inside. Oh, the airplane just took off there. Uh, it doesn't look like I have to shoot the control tower. Well, it doesn't seem to have any visible effect. Uh, what are these turrets? And you got hit by a glowing sort of uh, orange disc of hate. Right, we're shooting this tower now. Is this what I've got to do? I've, like I said, I've not played this game before. It looks like it's got like um, like a weak spot on top, like it's like a black black weak spot. So I'm going to shoot it in its in its eye, in its tower eye. Not doing anything. No visible signs of damage. I've got a nice sound effect for my missiles though. And by nice I mean shite. Okay, got some more gun trucks to shoot. Kill an aeroplane, missed it. Uh, a run one there. Got some more deck based gun turrets. This time they are rectangular rather than uh, round, so that means they're double lethal. Ah, oh, they got me. They got me in the end. Oh, I've got an extra life. Whew. It's a good job because, you know. I'm enjoying myself. Mm. Actually, I, don't, I mean, I don't. This is not hideous. But then I've never played the arcade machine. I think most people's beef with this is that it's not like the arcade machine, but then why would it be? Lots of explosions. In a grid pattern. But uh, water effect's nasty. It took me five minutes to get through that stage. Five minutes and 36 seconds. It's giving me a lot of bonus points. Lovely. Okay, stage two. Oh, looks like Galaxy Force 2. We're being lowered into a, some sort of hangar. Uh, that was jerky. Uh, we've got the same similar sort of parallax effect on the clouds. Shit, there's a mountain! Oh, man. Get the mountain. Looks like it's carpeted. Okay. Uh, we're in a cave here. This is the most... A highly detailed cave I've ever seen in the game, uh, as it is uh, mainly blue. Oh, there's a cave uh, entrance. Ooh, I navigated the hole in the wall there. This game successfully blends uh, high octane violence with Saturday Night TV hole in the wall. There's a tank there, look, looking at me, looking at my wrecked ass. Did I die by hitting a tree there? That's highly unfortunate. Ooh. Look at the noise on the screen. This game has a lot of visual noise and repetition. It's like someone's gone mad with a clone stamp brush all over that visual. Um, suppose it's, it's digitized, maybe? I don't know. Shittitized, that's what I'd call it. Is the Sega logo again? Okay, so that was my very first play of Super Thunder Blade. Let's try it again. Oh, we've got to continue. We got to, we can continue from the title screen. We can't continue when we're playing the game, but we can continue from the title screen. So let's continue. This time I'm gonna teach him who's boss. I'm gonna navigate that cave like like a uh, uh, spelunker. No, I'm not. I can't even get through the hole in the front of it. How the f that I'm sure that hole changed size there. I'm sure it was bigger, and then it got smaller when it got right close to me. Oh shit! They are taking no prisoners. Like they, they will shoot your corpse. It's like they're tea banging it with missiles. Oh, well, I accept I did a wrong in then. That was all me. Sorry guys, I've wrecked your helicopter again. Okay. Well, that was a very short continue. I didn't make it to the high score, high score table this time. Uh, let's continue again. Let's forget that ever happened. Let's play again. So maybe the uh, 
slow down button will help me, but every time I've pressed it, oh shit, a brick. Every time I've pressed it, uh, I've died from um, a helicopter shooting me with a missile. Because you can't move if you slow down. It just becomes completely unresponsive. Kind of locks you in place. Oh, it's like that, see? I just I stopped, and then the helicopter just went, you stopped, have you? Right, I'm going to shoot you in the face. And, to be fair, he did exactly what he said he was going to do, and he shot me in the face. Managed to navigate that exit there. That was pretty swish flying. Okay. Oh no, they've sent another hole at me. Just can't get through these freaking arches. The uh, pattern they've got on that. Freaking horrible, isn't it? Why did they do that? They could have just left it without the pattern and it would look fine. Okay, here's the uh, digitized screens again. Right, we're going to continue again. Are we going to give it another go? Okay, um, I'm not having a bad time playing this game. I will say that. I, won't, I don't think it's brilliant. I think the music is fairly poor. Oh, I've slowed down. Line myself up. Beautiful. Um, I think this cave visuals... Uh, well, the cave visuals could uh, do with a little bit of attention, but this is a 1988 Sega Mega Drive game. Probably one of the first Mega Drive games. They're shooting me through the frickin' wall! Unbelievable. We've got a gradient in the sky this time, though. Wobbly trees, we've got helicopters that fire 14 missiles at me at the same time. Oh no, this set another freaking thing at me. Oof. Well, this cave's got spiky bits in it. So, yeah, this, you can get this game for about 10 quid, 10 to 12 quid off of uh, auction sites, second hand. Uh, I. This jerky. Um, it's an into the screen shooter like Afterburner and then a top down shooter like, I don't know it's a bit like the pilot wings level I suppose like the uh, helicopter part in the pilot wings without the nice rotation very strange um, yeah I don't know why I've never played this before I'm sure it's on compilations uh, I just heard that it's shite uh, I would say it was entirely horrible but it's not great so far I think I'll have to give it some more time see if I fall, fall for its charms we're going to let the um, demo mode play here to see if I can see any other levels because I'm not good enough to get through a cave on level 2 at the moment uh, yeah the music on the early Mega Drive music back from 1988 it's pretty damn weak I don't know if this is the same tune as the arcade. No idea. Never played the arcade machine, like I said before. Ooh, we're shooting a carpet. We've got a beige carpet. And a robot looking mandible. It's like a robot dog. It's like canine. With a glowing green eye. Oh, it's not. It's like some sort of sci fi tank. What's Thunderblade in the arcade? Sci fi? Thunderblade on the Mega Drive is. Hmm. I think what's essentially the graphics are wobbly, but they're also sort of low colour. That doesn't help, does it? Like that, it's got four shades of grey in it, that whole thing. It looks like it's drawn by someone who's never used a drawing package on a computer before. And whoever did the clone stamping on that image needs to take a long, hard look at themselves. Maybe give that week's payback. Uh, why this is in four colours, this digitised image, I don't know. Because the Mega Drive can display at least double that. Oh, we've got a gradient in the sky. Quite like the parallax that we've got going on in the environment, that's nice. Ooh, look at a submarine with a load of missiles coming out of it. Figure of eight pattern here. Yep. So it looks like when these 
kind of bosses rid of heads, you just have to kind of sweep around with a figure of eight. There you go. That's Super Thunderblade. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's a 10 quid, isn't it? Should have spent it on something else, shouldn't I? Oh well. Tomorrow.